How are you doing guys, Zarai here. So today I wanted to discuss regarding a little game that will be coming out in the future sometime called Everywhere. That's literally it, the name it's basically called Everywhere. Now we've heard about this game that there's going to be a very, very giant scope and you know there's going to be so much expectations are actually riding on this game mainly because of who is developing it. There's a specific article coming from the Insider Gaming regarding for this game. There's actually extra details have been revealed just there today. I want to go over them and I want to definitely talk about that. So as such, basically, you can see it here, uh, but the title, well, the article name everywhere. First details revealed by Build a Rocket Boy. What a name. Like, I'm just also questioning it. How and why do the developers like to, like, have a name? something like their own like developing name build a rocket boy very very weird all right so let's just go down and you know check it out of uh, this article so the first details about the highly anticipated game everywhere has been revealed the game is being developed by build a rocket boy a studio founded by former rockstar north president leslie benzi Every, everywhere is described according to VGS as a new platform that offers a world of endless possibilities where you can be whoever you choose and forge your own path. The game's world will be ever expanding and infinitely varied, with players able to travel to different planets and star systems. Very interesting. So yeah, it's a lot of writing on this game, mainly because of uh, Leslie Bel uh, Benzi, and you know he. I think his last development for Rockstar was Grand Theft Auto Five, or was it Red Dead Two? I cannot remember. But yeah, either one. Now let's continue and you know talk a little bit more about this, like what kind of details that they revealed. The game's development is being led by Benzi, who is joined by the team experienced developers, including the former Rockstar employees. The team is said to be focused on creating a deeply immersive and a revolutionary gaming experience. Everywhere features a central hub called Utropia or Utropia, as well as multiple biomes around it. Within Utropia, players will be able to uh, access different districts. Each district you know, will offer different gameplay and creation options. A couple of districts in the game are Racing District, which allows players to race against others, and, and the Combat District, which lets players play in the third-person battles. Players will also be able to use games ARC, Ar well, Arcadia kind of a creation suit design and create their own racing and combat events to share online play with others. Kind of has a little bit of a similarities to what was revealed from the Unreal Engine, right? That you can actually play within Fortnite and create your own worlds and also have your own styles of gameplay. That does not just include like shooting as well. It's like can, you can go insane basically. It's pretty cool. I like the idea. This actually has a little bit of similarities you would expect also from Grand Theft Auto Online kind of share system. Basically, you can make your own world and your own races and your own modes and stuff like that and much, much more within there too. It always kind of gives a creative freedom for people to kind of explore and to experience as well. All right, everywhere is still in development. No release date has been announced. However, it was mentioned that the game will be enhanced soft players this year. So, here's the thing. Everywhere, it doesn't seem like, or at least to me, it's not really a game. It's basically a hub. It, you will be able to traverse through different game modes, get different games, in fact, within that hub. It's kind of like PlayStation Move or as well. Or was it? No, no, PlayStation Home. My apologies. So, there's a little bit extra towards this article as well. Build a Rocket Boy is putting a game within everywhere. Well, there we go. It was also revealed by Build a Rocket Boy, my god this name, <laughs> that uh, that a second game known as The Mind's Eye is in the development. Mind's Eye will be available within everywhere itself, though the studio says it will be its own distinct product. Mind's Eye, according to the studio, is a high-octane, AAA, story-driven action-adventure game set in a world of futuristic corporations, conspiracy theories, and sinister new technologies. Despite being its own separate game, Mind's Eye is expected to be released in chapters based on various themes. 
as those chapters are released, assets from them it will be well will be made available to the players within the Arcadia creation suit. So so what do you think about this guys? Like do you think it's gonna be a quite a big success? This you know there's you know there's always a big if you know there's this that's just this you know a like a definition of if there's you know it's so much writing on this because the developers that are familiar with this kind of products and how and the creative product right basically going with this development just simply going insane now it could also be a small scale project it really can be like maybe they're putting a lot of time and effort into everywhere kind of a hub system that you can experience but then after over the time they can uh, kind of release games within everywhere that you can go from a hub and then you can go into a different game completely it's so actually get, uh, that thing is getting done by an assassin's creed as well starting from mirage and can you continue on to code name red and hexy and so on and so on but yeah it seems like it's going to be it's going to be very very ambitious but it can also fall flat unfortunately so we're gonna to have to wait and see because like, even if you have veteran developers does not mean anything if it just does not work or it doesn't go through with you know if you have something special or it is even a good game or great game right then yeah i think this may actually go somewhere and, and will be quite successful I, i'm wondering how they're gonna actually price it as well will they be calling it like an expansions and stuff like that and so they're gonna be pricing individual kind of modes for within everywhere so you're gonna have to access everywhere but for you to access everywhere first you will have to pay for it. maybe it'll be free and that's when you pay for the expansions that are like kind of like the mind sign that they just announced you see like there's always these questions and just not enough not enough answers but yet again you know since we're still waiting and it seems like we're gonna be waiting a little while I don't expect this game, just do not expect this game coming out, coming out anytime soon. Even though it's been mentioned that, you know, we should expect our uh, getting our hands on this uh, sometime within this year. I don't know. If we're talking about Rockstar here, again, we're not. I, I know that, but the developers of Rockstar, maybe they will be very ambitious and they would want to go, um, like, you know, just, like, beyond what they were capable of doing and stuff then obviously i do not expect this to come out sometime even this year at all maybe even following year or so i, I hope they're gonna take their time i'd actually kind of wondering where in the world are they gonna get the the income you know like you need like a lot of money for this like they don't have publishers they're individual independent i should say developers so maybe they're gonna get picked up by somebody else, some other publisher. I don't know, maybe like PlayStation or, or uh, Microsoft. I don't know. It's gonna be very, it's very ambitious for the scope that they're trying to do. And such, you'll need they'll need a ginormous income. But also, yeah, because you know, if you get picked up by a publisher, then this means gonna be restrictions in some cases, even some deadlines as well. So that would not be really be ideal for them. But I hope this actually comes through. I hope it will be successful. So these guys, these developers, you know, they don't actually have to look for other jobs and actually you put all the creative mind and vision into this game. And because this also means that they don't actually have to stick to one genre of video games and they'll never it like this game and this development will never get stale for them. They can always try to uh, strive towards something different, unique and creative and never have to stay in a one scope of genre. For example, like Grand Theft Auto, you'll stick to Grand Theft Auto 1, 2, 3, all the way to 5 and upcoming 6 Grand Theft Autos. And there's even more than that, obviously. And yet, you see, it can get very, very draining. But now with this game everywhere, this means that they can have, they can go crazy. They can go racing game, they can go Grand Theft Auto uh, kind of scale, or maybe they can go like a Wild Wild Era game, if you know what I'm talking about, Red Dead Redemption style, right? Or perhaps they can go crazy with the fan uh, uh, fantasy sort of aspects maybe sci-fi or like futuristic like they mentioned in here third person first person you see they can go crazy with this and this means more diverse uh, you know variety and diversity this means more people and this means it's going to be a bigger paycheck for them at the end of the day it still is a kind of a question right still hangs there obviously so we'll have to see how this will be successful or not all right, guys, that's all I want to have a little bit of discussion regarding everywhere. Uh, I hope it will be successful. All right, like and subscribe. See you guys all. Have a wonderful day.